I'm ready. All right. Ready. Bye, Bye guys. Bye, mate. Bye, Bo. Bye, Bo. So, are we on? Are we live? What's happening? Yeah. It says it's live. Per tradition, I think we have to ask, are we live for a good 30 seconds once we do go live? <laughs> <laughs> Is this working? Um, I, I made an effort this time and I put a NASA shirt on because it's happening today. Believe me, mate. I like that. Committed. It's going to happen. Is that the lucky launch shirt? This is the lucky launch shirt. So here we are, guys. Round two. Round two. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> it feels good today. Uh, I think we've got a good shot. Yeah. Uh, what um? So from obviously from your expert perspective, what um? What's making what's making you say that compared to last time? Uh, I just have a you know I we had a fifty fifty shot last time. Mm -hmm. We have a fifty fifty shot this time. Uh, so since it went the other way last time uh, today. You can't argue with the numbers. <laughs> oh, right? That is right? <laughs> a flip of the coin, right? An antibody test, right? It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's one or the other. <laughs> Charlie Barnes, hello. Hello. Hi. Well, welcome to Super Surprise Special Guest, Charlie Barnes. How are you, What's mate? Up? I'm good. I'm, I'm enjoying lounging outside the beautiful Litchfield Cathedral. Oh, uh, I was like Wayne Mabbott or Batman. Still very, very, very handsome and, and wonderful. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to see all of you. Um, it's been a really long time. The last, literally, the last time I saw all of you, barring uh, our US correspondent, um, was was literally on stage at the London Palladium because um, oh, well. I, I, I left really quickly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice to see like, you all. Again. I don't need to be with these guys anymore. I am out of here. <laughs> I, I bet you didn't think it'd be a year before you saw him again, right? Like, I, I remember oh. the last time I saw uh, Kevin or a bass player in the airport, I was like, I'll see you in like a week. And I like ran the other way down the corridor and I, I'm not going to see him for like two more years. <laughs> Very true. But guys, let's not forget why we're here today. All right. Space. Advertising. Space. space. <laughs> Advertising and space. Um, so, yeah, it, it's going to happen this time. What um, guys? What are we here for? I'm just here for the hang. <laughs> Rockets two bonus. Uh, we are. Hang on, because I've got a, a little side screen up here. We are Ooh. almost at t minus twenty minutes, guys. Oh, it's so exciting! That uh, is exciting. Carl, you've really gone. You've really gone overboard with the branding. Right yeah, well, I, I, basically, I, I feel like my lack of effort oh last God. time. Like, are those mini NASA logos on your shirt? Oh yeah. They're mini meatballs. Oh my god, that's a really good shirt. Yeah. On his left buttock. It's that's that's oh. great. Woody, your your background is lazy. Your it, your your whole identity is I'm the drummer, and there's <laughs> there's a series of snare drums behind you right now. I mean, uh, snare drums, you can, mate. Right? Well, I, I actually in full granddad mode. I haven't actually bothered to figure out how to change the background yet. <laughs> okay. Your little. So you, you click the thing and then you click another thing and uh, and there you go. You're good. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty simple. Cool. Um, the rocket is now emitting massive plumes of smoke. I assume that's normal. That's yeah. It's it's white it's smoke. It's good. Oxygen, isn't it? Something like that. Oh, it's, it's dry ice. Added, added drama and effect. They they they, they <laughs> on the stream the other day. They said this is totally fine. Um, so um, the other day when it was uh, weathered off. What, how, how long before launch um, was, the, was, the, was the launch postponed? Like, this is a good time to text your dad. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, quite close, I think. Yeah, close. Was it like 10 minutes out ish? Yeah, like maybe 10, 15. That feels well, right. I'm really curious. Did they dump out all that highly volatile frozen fuel they put in? Or was it just, they just left it? I, I, I imagine that they, they've got to take it all out before anyone can like open a door or anything. I think that's right. I think they, I think they, the guys sat in there for another hour or an hour and a half or something while they took out anything that could go wrong while they like got out. I did think. You, how long did you guys watch for? Cause I, I watched, I couldn't stop watching until I'd seen them be let out of the, of the, of the capsule. And it was a really long time. And, and there was something quite, kind of endearing about watching two highly, highly skilled professionals sitting there literally twiddling their legs and their thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just us. Yeah. 
<laughs> like actual real life people do it as well. But, um, they said they said on the broadcast earlier that the seats are custom made for each astronaut based on their dimensions. So I, I would imagine those are right. Right. So the, I would imagine those are the most comfortable seats one could ever have. Also, they they were like gearing up for, for being in those seats for a good nineteen hours, right? So so an extra what hour yeah. sitting there waiting. Um, also, we were, we were chatting last time about space tourism and like would we all go up? I think we probably would, but that's like now in 2020. Imagine being like some of the first people going up in the 60s where like a computer back then would fit into a warehouse. And it's like, is this thing going to work? It's like, well, on, on paper, it should, should be fine. I mean, yeah, in the fine. moon landing, they, um, no one knew if they'd be, like, there was no backup if they couldn't take off from the moon. So they'd actually, there's like plans for just leaving them up there. I think that's, some of the bravest, or they're like those are the two bravest people in the world. They were like, "We'll just go. We might not ever leave here. We might have to die on the moon." Probably, probably a pretty short list of plans. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I that, I think that, it said like that the the, uh, the uh, Apollo Eleven had like the power of like a modern day calculator or something yeah. like the processing power. It's like the processing power. Yeah, yeah. it's insane. Which means that like like the, everything going on was was it was all humans and because all. Like, because that processing power was literally to input the information that was coming from all of the humans sat in the room. Right. Whereas now, you know, you, know, you can rely on technology more uh, and hopefully, like, squeeze out human error and stuff. But that's, that's insane. Apparently, apparently, on one of Buzz Aldrin's missions, there's a problem and they had to calculate the angle at which they needed to re-enter the Earth's orbit. And he did it himself on paper, on board with a theorem he developed because he's also a genius. <laughs> he like invented the spirit and then What sci-fi like, movie is that from? That's insane. Did, like, did, did you guys ever see the thing? Did you guys ever see the thing where uh, someone went up to Buzz Aldrin and asked him like how they had faked the moon landing and he <laughs> yeah. punched the guy, he yeah. punches the guy in the face yeah. and nothing happened to him. <laughs> nothing, national treasure. They're like, of course Buzz Aldrin punched him in the face. He's been to the moon. I mean, there's probably there's probably there's probably quite a lot of people out there who'd pay to have Buzz Aldrin punch him in the face. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So, that guy got it for free. <laughs> that was lucky. Um, can we get? Um, can, we, can we just get a little bit of knowledge on the on the countdown here, guys? Where are we at? Yeah, Fifteen minutes. Minutes. And ten seconds, Mark. Hmm? Wow. Exciting. Just there's gonna point. Seconds. Just gonna point back again to how. Um, how cool their space, their suits are. How cool their spacesuits are. I know, I know it's not the most technical of things to observe, but um, Dan, Dan, all about the fashion smith. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell, I've really got my. Uh, <laughs> I don't, don't trust my taste, but in my opinion, they're pretty dope. The. Uh, <laughs> Those. It makes you wonder if the old ones needed to be that big, seems as they've now made these ones that look like they're sort of valley bars. Yeah, like nine <laughs> years later, they they look like a hundred years <laughs> yeah. further out. Yeah. Maybe it was just the baggy look was in back then. They're like, <laughs> this, is, this is like the shell, this is the shell suit equivalent of uh of space suits. Like NC hammer pants. The nice thing to be our back <laughs> Yeah. I like the fact that with the the, the, the spacesuits they are currently sporting, they are like they're cooler than the spacesuits from sci-fi films set in twenty twenty. Yeah. Like, yeah. wow. I guess I guess they've had I guess they've had time to catch up. It's amazing. Was it, was it the eighties where like the the sort of theme was like tinfoil looking suits? That, that uh, yeah, but and, like but as we know, tinfoil not a very not very strong material. <laughs> you have to, you have to, you have to bow out. Always oh, nitpicking, aren't you, Kyle? Always oh, nitpicking. Very end of marathon chic. Um, <coughs> Thirteen minutes, guys. Wow. Yeah. wow. Charlie, I'm very distracted by a Litchfield Cathedral behind you. Um, just to, to to bring a little bit more Litchfield into the scenario. Um, this is my current. Oh no, you can't see it. It's my current phone case. Nope. Can, is it working? Nope. It's invisible. You have an invisible phone. I have an invisible phone. It's not going to work. There we go. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. Two best things, Litchfield and NASA and SpaceX. Is that, is that a, a local attraction by you, Charlie? Don't get him started. Don't get him started. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, that's Hogwarts Castle. Yeah. 
It's Hogwarts times a thousand. Um, <laughs> um, it, 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 it's the most beautiful cathedral in the country. Uh, and the, the world. The, the, the Queen comes to visit quite often. Is that real? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Kyle, when you went to see the launch, um, however many years ago, 12 minutes out, as we are right now, what was, what was happening? So it, it, was, it, was, it was ridiculously early in the morning. It was a super, super early launch. Um, and also because we had, um, they attempted the day before. So although you're excited, like just knowing that, just knowing that it can happen, that it can actually go right, we can't launch now. Um, it, like it kind of, everyone was just a bit on edge. And there's loads of speakers. <coughs> there are so many elements, like so many different groups of like acronyms and different groups of people who control all the elements ac across the whole thing, like from, from a, I like a multitude of different areas. So like, then each of them will be like, MCPGR, good for launch. And that will go on for uh, like 10 minutes because that's how many groups of people there are controlling it all. And then so you all stand there, they're good for launch, they're good for launch, they're good for launch. Um, and then I'll be like, oh, is there a man on the boat this time? No, he's out. Um, did you see, they, they pulled an alligator out. Yeah, right. I saw that. Whoa. Yeah. yeah, got rid of him. Not got rid of him, like, yes. like, <laughs> like saved his life, put him over here. I guess one of the drawbacks of, of choosing to launch rockets in, in, in Florida. Um, there it is, there he is. Mr. Arm Brewster, do you have any, <laughs> any, any comments? Uh, observations or loving words for your favorite of the American states? About Florida. Uh, I will say that um, when, uh, when Joywave had booked a, a Florida tour a few months back, I investigated booking a, a live alligator as the opening act. <laughs> uh, and I, I got pretty far into the research and was told that there were alligator rights groups who would be upset with me. So uh, we had to we had to, again, cancel the whole tour instead. <laughs> of course. Fair. I mean, we yeah. all know how important the opening act can be. And if you can't get the right one. <laughs> it could ruin the whole tour. Sometimes That's, right. That's yeah. right. Sometimes you do get the right one and it still ruins the tour. So you just... <laughs> <laughs> you, really long you just never, you just never know. Best deals farewell tour with opening act joy wave. Yeah. Late 2019. <laughs> Thank you. Sending us off in style. <laughs> um, so, so what's happening? What are um? Yeah, minus ten minutes, boys. What are Bob and Doug? What, what are they up to? Are they just chilling? They've started pushing buttons. Right. <laughs> which one's Bob? Which one's Doug in the seats? I'm looking. Who's who's nearest the camera? I can't remember. Depends which camera we're looking at, Woody. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm getting, I'm getting, they're, they're both doing it. The twitchy finger thing. I mean, to be fair, you'd be shitting yourself. Oh like, my God. They, they must be getting quite nervous now. Yeah. In fact, is there not like a big, massive red button just like, have it, launch? Or is it just all computers? I mean, yeah. imagining you're not doing it manually from the cockpit by just pushing a big button. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, was, I hope everyone appreciates quite how professional and... Um, and so <laughs> this commentary is. Yeah. It's space experts unite to discuss the launch on, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is bad. What's the white stuff coming out the side? Do you think it's dangerous or is it a good sign? <laughs> that, was a, that was a pretty great opening gambit, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what it smells like. So, um, I do wonder what it smells like. Um, they had to... Oh, his clouds are back. The bloody clouds are back. No. <laughs> um, have they had to alter their like their kind of like like uh, the sort of regime, the schedule? Because now, because obviously we're a few days later. Is there is there is there any kind of um, do they have to make any modifications? Arm Brewster, you, you seem to know a lot about this kind of stuff. Surely it's trajectory to meet up with the ISS, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just have, you, yeah, but you, you, I mean, I, I think they calculate these windows. Uh, based Ooh. on Ooh, here we go. the ISS positioning, right? So I would imagine it's probably the same, you know, they were saying earlier, it's like 12 minutes to get mm -hmm. into orbit and then 19, 19 hours, hours to meet up to get the speed. So it's, so, you know, that this is probably why the launch window got moved to Saturday as opposed yeah. to moving an hour later or yeah. uh, a day later. Yeah. I would assume. I mean, 
if you say it with enough authority, then I'll, I'll believe you. <laughs> I, I definitely believe you. Do you know what was really weird then? I just, I, I looked and thought they were holding hands, but they weren't. Um, <laughs> and I just thought like, that'd be such a sweet moment. Like, oh, dog, we're doing it, man. We're doing it. <laughs> So nice. I've, been, I've, been, I've been known to hold hands with a with a with a friend on a particularly scary roller coaster ride or two. So you know, <laughs> maybe maybe they do. Yeah, um, and let's, let's face it, this is definitely the scariest of the roller coaster it's rides. The, it's the <laughs> ultimate. Yeah. Well, how, how do actually? This is their third mission together. So. It's oh. All, you know. So they're oh, beyond uh, holding hands. Imagine the in point. jokes. Imagine the in jokes they'll have. <laughs> they actually they actually only fly together. Oh, they, nice. they won't let anybody else. Do, do you guys? Uh, how do you guys feel about flying? Are you all okay with it, or do you guys get a little bit nervous in a plane? Is he throwing Will being a pilot? I am. Um, that went down well. Um, yeah. come on. <laughs> cool. <laughs> also, it's not the time to talk about flying. Basically, a yogurt pot when you're about to watch a, a space rocket. <laughs> 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 It's so, um, it, it's so true. Kyle is the only one who doesn't like flying, but he got better, didn't you, babe? I got better, <laughs> and then we had a few. We had a few. Um, we had a few bumpy rides, and I went straight back to square one. I, I feel oh. you'd be a nervous astronaut. Oh God! Well, that's like if, if I was given the option, I don't. I don't think I would go. I just. I wouldn't. I just. I wouldn't want to go. We were. We were having this. We were having this debate. In, uh, in film club yesterday, which is where we like to have all our serious debates <laughs> uh, about if you had the option and it was actually possible, whether or not you'd go. Uh, if like space tourism, as it may shortly be, was a thing, who here would, who here would, would want to go? Just oh, to oh, well, Hang on. What is the trip? Uh, let's say to the, to, the, to the ISS for a bit and back. You know, Tom Cruise is, is signed up to, to shoot a film on the ISS. Yeah. That's that's really cool. And if Tom Cruise can do it, <coughs> probably no one else can. <laughs> no one else. Yeah. How long would you have, have, to, have to stay up there? Um, the I don't know. I mean, I, I don't make the rules. Because they were saying that time, we, we were, sorry, one of the many times we went to NASA, guys, crowbar back to where we're talking about. Thank you. Uh, they, have, they have to do these um, treadmill exercises with bungee ropes on them. Uh, to obviously counteract the lack of gravity, otherwise their muscle tissue starts to separate off their bones. From like Ooh. a, like, a, like yeah. a well stewed chicken. Exactly. Yeah, perfect example. Exactly like that. I'd go. I'd go to space. Would you go? Yeah. I would go if I was over seventy. Like I, I, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was like five. And then I think one of my parents was like, you know, there's no air in space. And I, I was out. <laughs> uh, so I, I think over a, over a certain age, it's like the thing where like uh, my mom told me earlier today that uh, uh, someone who was a friend of a grandparent just turned uh, 100 and she went bungee jumping for her 100th birthday or jumped out of a plane or something for her 100th Whoa. birthday. And I was like, I was like, I that makes a ton of sense <laughs> because really? like, yeah, like what 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 were you gonna do at like uh, let's say something goes wrong at a hundred, right? Were you like, oh my god, I could have been a hundred and two months and I <laughs> messed it all up, right? Like it's like you get to a point where it's like you yeah, fair you should you should take risks. Uh, T minus four minutes, boys. Ooh. Ooh. This is so exciting. I'm very excited. Charlie's literally out of his seat with excitement. Can't believe it. Hello. Oh, the door. <laughs> Hello. This is this is why I would never do space tourism, for my dog named after a celestial body. Oh, you should take that. Oh. Hi, everyone. Space. Hello. You okay? I think she's all right. <laughs> what's what's her name? Luna. Oh. Ah, topical. Very <laughs> you done right. a bit Off you go. <laughs> I was thinking, if I ever get a dog, Charlie, I'll get a spaniel, and I'll name it Spaniel Craig. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. Mm. Or Spaniel Radcliffe. <laughs> I like that as well. <laughs> or Spaniel Smith. I know oh. a Spaniel. Yeah, it's de it's definitely Spaniel Smith. 
<laughs> Sorry that you were third. All right. <laughs> I'm often people. I'm often people's like third, fourth, or sometimes fifth favorite animal because a space here. Um, St. Louis. That'd be good as well. Isn't it like two minutes till launch time? Yeah. It's, it's How long? Two minutes and forty seconds. Wow. Um, it, where's, the, where's the stream gone? Yeah. Can we have the stream back? Uh, no, yeah. Good. Bo, Bo told me to stop sharing it briefly. So um, if we miss it and you have to look at, we have to look at each other, just blame Bo. We will, uh, we will leak Bo's email address I will yeah. for, every, for everyone to complain. Okay. Oh, here, we oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh. oh, yes. Oh. Right. It's very okay. awesome powers, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right. 20 seconds behind what I'm watching. Let me log yeah, the, oh, I, yeah, I'm... I'm on, well, I'm on 30 seconds, 40 yeah, seconds. It's, full, it's nearly a full minute behind. Yeah. Um, that's cool. Welcome to the, uh, the the internet around here, guys. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Is it raining? No. What's that? No. Um, Something, guys. So. Oh, yeah. One minute. This is terrible because we're just going to be watching it yeah. really behind. But, um, who here is the most excited? I'm most excited. Would anyone like another, an, another uh, mission related poll quiz question? Please, sir. Yes, yeah. please. Bring the feedback. <laughs> to, the, to the nearest million chaps, if you're feeling really flush and wanted to buy one of these fancy Falcon 9 uh, rockets, how much do you reckon that will set you back in the US dollar? 260. Will says 260. Charlie. Got 950. 950. Daniel Smith. So I missed what's the question? How much would one of these Falcon 9 rockets cost you to the nearest million in dollars? We've, we've uh, got a minute, guys. So, <laughs> what, so what are the other guesses so far? 260 and 950. Um. I thought it was I thought it was two billion, but is that completely wrong? Is it was that the tender for the whole thing? Or is, is that, is it, 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 there we go? Great. Uh, <laughs> Carl Simmons. Five hundred. Five hundred mil. Uh, Mr. Ron Brewster. hundred and eighty million. One hundred and eighty million. Uh, well, um, Daniel Ron Brewster is the closest. Uh, a mere snip at ninety million. Ninety. Wow. 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 So, so, 19 seconds to go now. Guys, okay. Shit. Let's oh, watch it. Guys, this is so oh, exciting. God, this is amazing. Let's watch it. What's happening? Do you like football? We go, oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh. What's oh. happening? Wow. Guys, what's happening? Godspeed indeed. Beautiful pitching down range. Wow. Oh, ah! Wow. Yes. Oh, wow. Goes. Oh, Bob and Doug. Oh, my God. They're doing it. <laughs> it's so incredible. They're in there. Wow. They're in it. That's really, really, really fast. It's insane, the, the acceleration, isn't it? It's getting even faster, like, really quickly. Yeah. How many OGs do you think they're pulling right now? They're at, five, they're at five kilometers already after like 40 seconds. That's pretty. Just can't imagine what that must feel like. I seem to remember it was three Gs the whole journey. You pulled three Gs, which really? is pretty insane for like 12 minutes. Wow. You're just headed straight. Wow. Do you think you adapt to that? Like, No, you have to sort of strain against it. I think but three Gs well is. Not like crazy, but it's it's enough that you'd be tired afterwards. I don't yeah. know. This is absolutely insane. Wow. So unbelievable. Our geobenitas is at the Kennedy Space Center right now. Behind him is where the rocket just took off from. And Geo, what what are your thoughts? I mean, you were right there. You could feel it. You could hear it. Walk us through. Well, I just have to tell you, I'm, I'm emotional right now um, because this is such a moment. And to feel what Katie was talking about, feeling that moment, feeling that go up. And wow. Down, you can still sort of feel it. It's so cool. Yeah. 
part here. And uh, I'm sorry for getting emotional, but it's my first launch. So <laughs> there's that. I find it really interesting. Um, obviously, like, it, it's, 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 it's designed it's perfectly, but imagine, like, a really long, thin rocket with all the power coming from the back and no wings. Like, how, like, to make the slight adjustments is, is insane. Yeah. Kyle, the guy, the, uh, the journalist on ABC News is getting really emotional, as you probably would. He's there. Oh, um, he's there. Well, yeah, it happens. Yeah. Countries and governments. It's something. You, you, heard a, you, heard a, you heard a single. You shed a single tear, didn't you? It was. It, 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 it was a slight welling up moment for sure. Cool. Katie, talk to us about what we're just watching right here. We know this is a. Sort of oh, that's it. Separation. Oh, wow. And explain to us exactly what's happening. So basically, the first stage, the first giant piece, we've used all that gas, and now we're kicking it off. It's so all that gas is used. In the first <laughs> exactly. it goes up. There they are. Oh, wow. We'll see all that within the next few minutes. Just smashing out a casual nigh on 7,000 kilometers an hour. <laughs> <laughs> use them again and actually what they learn and making sure they understand how to make them fly back oh you said no tinfoil kyle i see loads of it right there oh no they've made it stronger they're able to use it they're about to hit that seven thousand kilometer mark there it is boom Done. um from our u.s correspondent on brewster any words it's very cool to see uh, it's it's so much more aesthetically pleasing, I think, than than the space shuttle. Like it's so much more reminiscent of the Mercury and Gemini and Apollo missions. Just you know the the capsule at the top and everything. And I, I was kind of hoping they would show the Falcon Nine land. You know, I I kind of wanted to see that flip maneuver, yeah. but it's pretty awesome. I always thought the space shuttle looked like a bit more madcap. It's like, we should take, the, take this plane and strap it on this rocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's some real good stuff. Yeah. And still getting faster. It's still speeding up. Look at the speed. That's insane. Oh, it says it says entry burn and landing burn on the uh, on the thing, so maybe they are gonna, maybe they will show it. Ooh, that'd be good. Yeah, it's it's, it still boggles my mind that they can do that. That's like just yeah, like the flip and land thing. Next level cleverness. In insane. And like Kyle was saying, it's just like the, the physics of that with no no wings on the side or anything just seems so improbable. Yeah. It's like landing a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> you oh, know? Crazy. I'm really enjoying all the comments as well on the side of YouTube. But then if, if you can see it on there, um, basically every other 10th one is like, see, I told you the earth's not flat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, still, I'm sure there's still quite a lot of people convinced this is all in a in a uh, film studio somewhere. Exactly, yeah. but really big film studio, though. Yeah, you know, scale. Well, we've, guys, <laughs> we've all seen Truman Show, so... <laughs> it only looks round because they're filming it on GoPros, and they're like... <laughs> <laughs> like a fish eye. To think about this in, in the broader context of, of what it means for... for Humankind to be able to go out and truly call. We're getting close on the entry burn. The speed now. It's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> that just snuck up out of nowhere. Oh, they're in, they're in orbit though, because the um, altitude's consistent. Oh, no, oh it's gone. One of the two, That's too fast, isn't it? I find, I, I find it like quite amazing that the, 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 the G force would be consistent. Uh, throughout with with that much well, it's, it's consistent because it's a consistent acceleration so if you accelerate at one speed then you don't pull any heavy g's um 
they're aiming for 17 and a half thousand miles an hour because that's orbital velocity which is something like five miles a second is absolutely insane <laughs> oh my god now <laughs> if you ever if you ever watch the iss go past if you happen to be see a plane nearby it relative to us is moving quicker than the planes despite being sort of 50 times further away it's actually insane I, oh wow they are they are landing the uh okay this this side is the uh the reasonable oh, booster oh right <sighs> wow <laughs> they figured out seven minutes in <laughs> also there's two gopros right okay <laughs> <laughs> big budget <laughs> <laughs> So, so they're now on 18,000. Yeah. So they're landing burn not too far away. Arm Brewster, as an American, does it? do you find it baffling that everything's in kilometers an hour and kilometers, given that no one in America knows what that means? I was just thinking that. Yeah, I have no like, understanding of how fast this is going. It's it's pretty rapid, mate. Basically. <laughs> Cheers, Wood. <laughs> one point <laughs> six, sixteen hundred meters. So one point six kilometers is a mile. I know that for some reason. So I'm going to say this is about fifteen thousand miles an hour now, at twenty five thousand kilometers an hour. Jeez. So they're getting close to orbital velocity. Oh, that's a lovely that there. It is pretty. Yeah. Well, it's an amazing feeling when you come through that. We're going to see the cigarette land. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, look at them all distance in a mast up. Good luck. Good bunch of people that. This is so exciting. <laughs> We can get a live feed from space, but we can't get someone to wipe the camera lens on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, their speed is, is locked off now. Oh, what? It just appeared. Oh, oh, what? Rob. Oh! They have a better connection with space than a boat. Hey! Hey! So we conclude space good, boats shit. Yeah, <laughs> evidently so. Uh, oh yeah, 27,000 KM there, mate. Yeah, that was down. Oh, they're, they're locking it out, look. Mm. And they're touching stuff. What are they up to? Where's the steering wheel, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh, find the in-flight menu. Oh, like, oh, it's got a fucking door. Oh. Donatol then dead, they just ended up in space. Oh! <laughs> oh! Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> oh no, he's lost the bloody dinosaur. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this this <laughs> rear view mirror bling was a bad call. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Turn it around, We're going back for the dinosaur. <laughs> You just straps him in. <laughs> Imagine if that dinosaur banked just on the other big flashing red button that made, made it go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, imagine that feeling. So, like, all the training. One thing we didn't want to happen. <laughs> go on, Kyle. What's that feeling? Just that feeling, like, like all the training and all the build up, and then it, it, it and it didn't happen it sort of on first on um, Thursday, wherever it was, and then and then. And then they they're out, and that like that's it. The speed is locked off. They're now in space, and then that that initial sort of weightlessness that kicks in, and that's it, guys. We're in space now. We're there. Must be incredible as well because you're pulling G's the whole way up, so you're sort of really heavy in your seat. And then as soon then, as you hit the velocity and stop accelerating, you're then weightless. It's like it must be such a dramatic sensation. Yeah. How, how long's their mission? When will the, when what when's the next time they'll feel? Gravity properly. Uh, 
I don't know if they have an exact I, return date yet. But yeah, I do like, remember someone saying they don't know exactly when they're coming home, which seems like I'd want to know that. At least a rough date, you know. Yeah. It'll be a few months. It'll be it'll be a few months for sure. Crazy. Um, and, and they're going to join one other NASA astronaut and two Russian cosmonauts. You're going to see a section fall off now. So, um, what do we think? Cooler. What do we think is cooler? What's name for it? What do you mean? What's that? I know we are still very far from mission accomplished, but, but so far... What name? Would you rather be an astronaut or a cosmonaut? Oh. Uh, I've got to go Cosmo for Kramer, you know? <laughs> um, for all the billions of dollars poured into this, they appear to be wearing Hunter wellies as part of their... <laughs> <laughs> Those guys and their then their uh, gifting is insane. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the 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 bit just floating off, just just like in all the films. Us. It's amazing. Crackers, isn't it? Crazy. Here's a thought. With if we did like many, 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 many space missions. I mean, keep bits of stuff floating in space. We're technically taking little bits of Earth away from Earth, gradually, gradually, gradually. Mm -hmm. Less, less mass of stuff on Earth. Deep, but it's probably getting replenished from meteorites. Ah, true. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Was was that theory that if we keep launching stuff into space, eventually there won't be any Earth left? <laughs> <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> <laughs> really solid. Yeah. I, I think I think we'll all be getting an email from Jeannie later on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. <laughs> there are theory. Large volcanic eruptions or meteor events. Stuff does get ejected out into space. Oh, yeah. The, the panspermia <laughs> theory of the origins of life, which is that microbes could have been ejected from other distant stars or uh, <laughs> stars. So it's quite interesting how much stuff gets thrown in space and then asteroids throw stuff back in. Wow. But to your oh, point, that, oh, it, it would take ages to like literally chuck the Earth into space. I've got time, mate. I'm a, I'm a patient man. <laughs> yeah, Woody's dead hard. He could do it. <laughs> no problem. Um, so have we got enough material for the remaining 19 hours of their of their trip? Yeah, what are you? Uh, are you what, what is what he's got his what he's got his questions. He's got his questions. Um, I'll get the kettle on. Did you know that the Falcon Nine user manual is actually online? I found it. Oh, we, wow. How about you read it from top to bottom live? Um, would anyone care to guess the optimal burn time for stage two of the rocket launch? Ooh. For stage two. Uh, I'm say... Three o'clock on a Friday. Six minutes. Hang on. Six, wait, wait, wait. No, six in, minutes fifty. In seconds. In seconds? Yeah. 360. 360. For, uh, Daniel Smith, what are you saying? 500. 500. Charlie Barnes? 273. 273. William Farkerson? 450. 450. Carl Simmons? 400. 400. Well, oh, I'll tell you what, Arm Bruce, that you are not far off, mate. A mere six seconds out. It's actually 300 <laughs> seconds. Optimal burn time for stage two. Wowpers. Oh. Yeah. Wonders never see, see? Um, running a bit low on questions there, but I've got more <laughs> Imagine that view. Yeah. Have they have they have, have they got to like do stuff at, at the moment? Like, or, or, like do, 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 are their heads like totally in fucking maths? astronaut busy i've got to do all of this stuff mode or can they just look out the window and be like hey oh that's all right i guess once you're in orbit there's time to have a little look it was really interesting when we went to nasa drop that little nugget again talking to everyone there they were saying that the life of an astronaut is the busiest life you'll ever have because they're you know there to do stuff 
And so it's not like you just sit around looking at space and going, oh, isn't this amazing? So I'd imagine they'd be pretty busy. But I also remember one of the astronauts said the most important thing he told everyone when he was like going up if they'd not been up before was to make a memory rather than yeah, you know, I that. That take was... a to be like, this is, this is space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he and, just shoved his face up to the to the glass, and he and he just he just kind of like just looked out of it for like like a, a, as long as his little break was that he was allowed. He's like free, he's like free time of the day break, and he just took it all in and just tried to remember it because really like uh, consciously trying to observe Earth as well. I remember this talking about the view yeah. back of Earth. Um, but of course, he was an actor because it's all fake and it's flat. Done <laughs> <laughs> by like Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but um, I, I don't, I reckon perhaps this is the the last sort of. I mean, not that it's remotely relaxing, but I get. I imagine once they get there, yeah, it's kind of all going <laughs> until they come back. So maybe this is the last little bit of sitting down time they'll have in a while. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just nodding off during lift off. <laughs> um, right, guys. I'm going to stop sharing. Bye. Right. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's back to just it's back to just us again. This has um, been lovely, guys. It has been really nice. Oh, yeah. what, a, what, a, what, a, what, a, what an amazing moment to share with some awful people. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was uh, it w- that was that was pretty cool. That that was a little more yeah. emotional than I than I thought it would be. You um you seem lost to words for the first time, maybe since I've known you. Uh, uh, ever? Yeah. You should, yeah. No. You, I, I should. I, call- the rockets all the time. <laughs> I'll stop talking. <laughs> no, it was, it was just like it, it was. Yeah, it was cool to just kind of take in and. Yeah. You know, nine years. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's bad. Um, well, guys, thank you for 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 this lovely online digital hangout. Thanks for hosting. I'll well see done. Guys, you guys when they uh, when they get to the ISS, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice seeing you all. That's right. And thanks everyone for watching. Well done for doing rockets and stuff. Yeah, take care. Bye guys. Oh.